Okay, we've noticed on my diagram now that I've actually got a whole heap of access layer switches here uh, and a whole heap of distribution layer switches. I really just dragged those in and then just copied the configuration from one to the other, changing the host name and doing that SSH crypto stuff. Now all I'm just going to do now is just very quickly configure the trunk link between these two switches. Um, these links going out to the PCs will be um, access ports. They can only be on one VLAN. We'll talk VLANs a little bit later so I won't get into that too much at the moment. Trunk links are designed to carry all the VLANs across them uh, and you need to configure it at both ends. So I'll start off with access A and just configure the, um, the trunk link across there. First of all we need to actually set the mode which is going to be trunk. You've actually got a couple of choices here. If I go back um, and just to think what have we got? We've got either access, dynamic, I don't like to use dynamic, um, or trunk. You've only really got an option of two, access or trunk. This time I want to be trunk. And the next thing I'm going to do is I'm actually going to allow all the VLANs across here. You can actually select um, exactly what uh, VLANs you actually want to pass across there, but in this case I'm going to actually say, well, I want all of them. And the other thing I'm going to do is go switch port and no negotiate. The reason why I do that is that I don't want my links negotiating with one another. I actually like to set each end exactly what I wanted. Uh, that's it. That's that side of it done. Uh, I'll just save that, finished. Now we can go over to this side and just log into this one and we'll go interface fast ethernet 02. Notice how I've labelled everything, it makes it a lot easier if you label everything as you go along. Switchboard mode trunk, switchboard trunk allowed the, try that again, VLAN all, and switchboard and negotiate. That's done. That trunkling is now finished and ready to go. Um, another thing I can do though is if I actually go back into that, uh, one thing I like to do is actually add descriptions. And I tend to do this all in capitals. For example, I can say link to um, access A. Now what that does is that when I do the show running config, it'll actually show up all in capitals. It stands out a little bit easier. I prefer that. Um, okay, that's it. If we actually now go and do a show IP interface brief, no, change that to do. We need the do in there so that I can actually run it from any, from wherever I am. Um, you can see that fast Ethernet 02, this is what we should get up and up. Um, we can also do a uh, show, oops, try that again, go okay, do show run here, scroll down to there is our interface 02, um, it's got the description in, you can see how it stands out with the capitals there, uh, switch port mode, what is it, trunk, switch port, no negotiate, notice how it hasn't got though the switch port allowed VLAN all. The reason for that is that it won't, the, the running config or the show run command won't show anything that's on by default. Um, all VLANs are accepted by default, so it actually doesn't show that. If I specified only a couple of VLANs, three or four VLANs, it would actually show up here as to what VLANs were allowed. Um, so that's actually normal if you see that. Anytime you see a show, uh, do the show run command and you find that it's actually not showing up the way it should be, then it's probably because um, it's actually a default and therefore it won't show. Um, that's it for this time. Next time I'll actually add a few more trunk links across here and get some redundancy going on uh, and then we'll look at adding um, some VLANs to some of these switches uh, and adding our core switches and going on from there.